next couple of pages are the financials, uh, starting with the hospital. Yeah, let's, let's look at that a little bit, if you don't, don't mind. Look down at the bottom, because that's kind of what we've, what we've been talking about on the other income. And, and the way we do the, uh, the district uh, tax revenue is we, we take that number divided by 12, so we, so we accrue that so it matches up, uh, even though we receive it. But if you look, uh, you know, if you look at uh, 11, 15, I mean, we're, you know, we're 88,000 below what we budgeted. Uh, for that, uh, then if you look, the big one is the UPL. What I was talking about, the UPL. Yeah, you know, we're uh, we're three hundred fifty thousand below what we had budgeted for other income through the UPL program, and that program has just gone away. But you know, year year to date, we're four hundred seven thousand below what we budgeted for other income. I think what's interesting is year to date, if you're looking at the uh, revenue, inpatient is under budget by half million, but it was made up for in outpatient, just like Ray was saying, made up for more, 586,000. Yeah. And of course, senior care is still doing a, a great job out there. Yeah, we've got a favorable, you know, year to date, favorable revenue budget of 221,000. And then when you look at that, there's also a favorable expense budget of 444,000. I mean, those are both really favorable numbers, but then the contractual is a biggie. There's an $850,000 unfavorable variance in the year-to-date contractuals, most of that coming from the Medicare and Medicaid side. Uh, some from bad debt, but most of the Medicare and Medicaid. And then the, the balance of that coming from the other income. Okay, next Even with all that on the hospital side, we still have a favorable bottom line. <coughs> Does the Medicare and Medicaid discount depend on something we do, some volume we have? Some no, on the inpatient side, whenever you admit a patient, whatever that diagnosis is determines what, what you're going to get paid. Okay. And where you, if you get a patient that stays, you know, really more than three days, that's kind of the cutoff, stays more than three days, you're losing money on that patient. That's, you know, that's that the, the insurance companies, but what's happening on the insurance companies is that insurance companies are now paying a percentage of Medicare. Back some years ago, you know, you made, you made your money on the on commercial insurance because that was a, you know, they paid whatever their, their negotiated amount was. But now their contracts are being tied to Medicare where they pay 125% of Medicare or some other percentage of Medicare. So whenever, for instance, whenever, you know, last year, whenever we had the 2% the reduction in Medicare payment, it also reduced what we get paid from the insurance companies because there's, it's tied to what Medicare pays. You know, it's one of the other things we talked about a little bit on, on the Medicaid side. You, so regardless of where you are politically, you know, if Medicaid, if Medi from a hospital standpoint, if Medicaid was expanded and more people, more people uh, came eligible for Medicaid, we get paid something in place of nothing because many of these patients now have no have no insurance. You know, they qualify for Medicaid, but they, they have no insurance. You know, that's that's kind of that's kind of the dilemma. I mean, that's the hospital the hospital position. Hospital's position is that you know, you know, we like to see the state, you know, expand Medicaid. We participate in the government Medicaid program, but that's we don't get to make that decision. Right, that's it. No, but you get a letter. We do, and you know, and we have and our associations lobby for us and, yeah, and all that. But yeah. So most, I think most districts are pushing to get the Medicaid expansion. Thing. Well, the hospital associations are. That parts and so it's not just us; it's yeah. everybody. It's everybody. It's everybody. It's the same deal. Turn your bad debt into yeah. crappy payment. I mean, to less payment, but at least it's something. Oh, little. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got a better electric right now, so we can afford to take less if we have to. Less is better than none. <laughs> 